Today's video is based on industrial pollution and environmental degradation. You will be learning how industry is contributing towards pollution. What are the different type of pollution? What are the pollution norms that has to be followed? And also, which engine, vehicle engine is banned in India? In the previous video, we had learned about information technology and electronic industry. Hope you have liked, shared and subscribed Tejas Education. Welcome to Tejas Education, my dear students. How are you all? As we know, industry plays a pivotal role in a country's development and its economic growth. But industry also contributes towards various type of pollution. Industries are responsible for four types of pollution, air, water, land, noise. The polluting industries also include thermal power plants. Now let's learn about air pollution. The presence of high proportion of undesirable gases results in air pollution, gases such as sulfur dioxide and carbon monoxide. Air pond particulate materials contain both solid and liquid particles like dust, sprays, mist and smoke. Smoke. Smoke is one of the main culprit in contributing to air pollution. It is emitted by chemical and paper factory, brick lens, refinery and smelting plant and burning of fossil fuels in big and small factory also increase the production of smoke. This happens when the industry ignores the pollution norms. Pollution norms are the safety measure put forward by the government to avoid any kind of pollutions. Toxic gas leak can be very hazardous with long-term effect. We saw how the gas leak at Vishakapatnam affected the locals. People were lying unconscious on street, even animals. Air pollution adversely affects human health, animal, plant, building and the atmosphere as a whole. Building, discoloration, weakening of the building and atmosphere, ozone layer gets affected. Water pollution. It is caused by organic and inorganic industrial waste. Organic waste, waste food, paper, cardboard, inorganic aluminium can, bottle, affluence, the waste from factories discharged into rivers. The main culprits in this are paper, pulp, chemical, textile and dyeing industry. Even petroleum refineries, tanneries and electroplating industry are also equally responsible for water pollution. These industries that let out dyes, detergent, acid, salts and heavy metals like lead and mercury pesticides, fertilizers, synthetic chemicals with carbon, plastics and rubber etc. into the water bodies. These are the points that you have to write how industries are responsible for water pollution. How are they doing? They are letting out dyes, detergent, acid, salt, heavy metals like mercury, pesticides, lead and mercury pesticides, fertilizers, synthetic chemicals with carbon, plastic, rubber into water. You have to write all these things, children. Now, fly ash, phosphor gypsum, and iron and steel slags are major solid wastes in India. Fly ash, powdered coal, phosphor gypsum, it is a co-product when fertilizer is produced, this is produced. It is also in the powdered form and iron and steel snack, they are produced when manufacturing of iron and steel happens in the iron and steel plants. They look like small black colored stones. So it is an MCQ based question. Thermal pollution. Thermal pollution happens when hot water from factories and thermal plants is drained into rivers and ponds before cooling. What will happen? 
the marine life will get affected fishes will die any other marine life in that particular water body will die waste from nuclear power plant nuclear and weapon production facility also cause cancer bird defect and miscarriages so all these points are very important children learn nicely soil and water pollution are closely related when you dump waste such as glass harmful chemical industrial effluents the waste from the industry the soil loses its fertility it becomes useless and when the rain occurs the rain water percolates goes through the soil inside deep down to the ground water and when this water is consumed by any form of life they also get contaminated whether human flora fauna noise pollution this results in irritation and anger it can also cause hearing impairment hear loss if you constantly use headset increase heart rate and blood pressure among other physiological effects so all together it adds to stress unwanted sound is an irritant and source of stress industrial and construction activities machinery factory equipment drills they all make lot of noise even if you are living next to a noisy neighbor who puts loud music it also adds to your stress isn't it so just now we learned about various pollutants now we will learn about what are the norms that we should follow or the industry should follow so that the pollution can be reduced pollution norms norms standard regulation the norms that control amount of pollutants emitted by a vehicle vehicle emission norms in india came into existence in 1991 for petrol vehicles and 1992 for diesel vehicles since 2000 euro norms are followed in india under the name bharat stage emission standard under the guidance of central government and supreme court's order there is a complete ban on bs4 engine and from 1st april 2020 bs6 engine has to be used by the manufacturers who produce two wheelers and four wheelers bs6 engine helps to reduce pollution now let's understand this flow chart ministry of environment forest and climate change constituted central pollution control board under central pollution control board bharat stage emission standard comes the objective of this bses is if vehicles emit more pollutant than the prescribed limit they won't give clearance to that particular vehicle so now we should try to understand why industry is not updating their pollution norms according to the industry if they update their technology according to the pollution norms the cost of vehicle will increase if cost of vehicle will increase the customers won't buy so that will bring them loss so government has to help the industry so that they can update the pollution norms and the cost can also be reduced or kept at the minimal base so that people will buy and industries can make profit also before we conclude this video we should know that fuel also plays a crucial role in contributing to pollution so these norms check on the fuel how much pollutant they are releasing into the air so we learned about various type of pollution what causes these pollution and how to control these pollution we can easily control pollution if we all follow the pollution norms mainly the industries we have to work hard to achieve success i'm sure you are all working hard to achieve success in upcoming board exam thanks for watching do like share and subscribe tejas education and do watch the videos that is recommended at the end 
the videos are related to manufacturing industry from same channel tejas education thanks again and don't forget to like share and subscribe tejas education